Hey Pit Masters, what's up? Today I got a beautiful dry aged rib roast for you guys. Come on, let's check it out. 28 days ago we started this beautiful dry aged project. We took a big rib roast and we stuck it in a dry aged dry aged bag. We sealed it up and we set it in our fridge at a temperature of 1 degree Celsius. We left it there for 28 days and now it's time to take it out of the package and look at the results. Wow, what a beauty. Look at that pellicle that we build up. And we got a light aroma of dark beef flavors. Not overpowering, absolutely gorgeous. And look at it, it's so clean. The bag acted like a membrane and did a perfect job on preserving our meat and at the same time drying it. Time to start slicing off some of that dry aged beef and expose the beautiful steaks underneath. Oh man. Look at the wonders of dry aging. You can clearly see the dry aged edge and how much the beef in the outside has reduced. The inside color has darkened and the rib roast has shrunken down considerably in size. And with 20 days dry aging, we didn't lose that much. You only see a small edge on the outside. We're gonna quickly trim that off and put this thing on the barbecue. After we have shaven off all the dark bits of beef, we end up with this beautiful product. We can clearly see that insane marbling and that dark red meat coming back. This roast is absolutely beautiful. Being a meat freak, of course, I want to taste my dried beef. Oh, look how tender that is, how easy it stretch. Wow. Wow, really strong beefy flavors. Marcel, you need to give this a try. There you go, brother. It's like capacho. It's like capacho, only better. Capacho has a light beef flavor, but this has stronger beef flavors. So imagine a dry aged capacho, that is what it tastes like. And by tasting the meat after it's been dry aged, you know what it tastes like uncooked. We know it's good now. We did a great job on dry aging. Time to roast this thing. Of course, we are gonna be doing this on the barbecue. And I got the perfect tool to help us cook this thing to perfection. We're gonna use the Cook Perfect thermometer. You might think, what, what, are you gonna talk about thermometers? Yes, I am, because this thing can do something other thermometers can. This is the Cook Perfect. Nice and shiny. Can you see yourself, Marson? I can see myself. Hi, Marson. Hi. And I know because you guys don't wanna see Marson all day. We also have the Black Edition. This is the probe that comes with it. And you have to stick it all the way into the beef until you hit that stripe. Because inside this probe, there are five actual sensors that calculate all the differences between the temperature in the beef and then make sure you hit it right. When we are cooking these roasts or big steaks, which are kind of expensive, we get these comments that, hey man, I love what you're doing, but I can't afford that. We wanna help you guys out. Morse and I selected three comments and you guys are gonna get the cook perfect. One comment is from Anthony Presser and he says, well, maybe one of the days I'm gonna be able to afford that steak. Well, there you go, brother. We're gonna help you out. We're gonna ship you this beautiful thermometer. The same goes for Crash Gaming. Your name is on this one, brother. And finally, we got our world famous gourmet granddad. I wanna help you out, man. I wanna help you out making those beautiful videos and those beautiful cooks and leaving those great comments. So this one's for you. We set our barbecue up for an indirect heat. We're currently running at a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius. We'll add a chunk of beech tree for smoke flavors. Set the grill grate in position. And now the last thing to do before we start cooking is season our roast. I'm going to use Maldon salt, which is pyramid salt. I'm going to spread that out on our roast. And of course, a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. We'll set this over indirect heat and insert our Cook Perfect thermometer probe in the center of the meat, all the way in. Now we'll close the lid and stick the Cook Perfect thermometer to the side of the barbecue. And now all I need to do is wait for my app to give me the notification that we reach the core temperature of 54 degrees Celsius. What are you going to do in the meantime? I don't know. Walk the dog. Does she look like she wants to be walked? Look at it. She's waiting for the bones. This is just too easy. Look, 
We can even see the surrounding temperature. We're running at 157 right now. We're almost there at 54 degrees core temperature. I love this app. I love that thermometer. It does everything I needed to do. No extra probes, no extra dome temperature measurements. It's all in there. It does everything. All we have to do is practice our patience, which I don't have very much of. So that other degree, we gotta wait for it. We gotta wait for it, Morrison. Come on, tell a good story. Have you heard about uh, flat earth? Flat earth, let's not go there. We'll, we'll do something else. Save the turtles. Save the turtles. Uh, let's plant some trees. That's a better idea. Support Mr. Beast. Help him save the planet, plant some trees. Link down below. Save the polar bears. <laughs> Let that dog go. P poor little doggy. I can't wait any longer. That last degree is just taking too long. We're gonna go for it. Let's have a look. Whoa! This is crazy. Look at how good that looks. The smell is just mind-blowing. We directly get that bee smell when we open the lid. Fat is dripping down onto our heat deflector, creating a little bit of smoke. Man, this is gorgeous. The fat has shrunken down from the ribs. Everything has come together on this roast. Dry aging, cooking it to perfection with a core thermometer. Man, this is a treat. Here we go. Come on. Wow. <laughs> That's a nice flare up. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we'll let this roast rest for at least 20 minutes, just to make sure that the juices will spread out over the beef perfectly and the flavors will get everywhere. What? Oh, I've had two waiting. Well, I gotta taste it, you gotta make sure it's right. Looking at me and saying, eat me, eat me, what are you waiting for? Eat me. I can't wait any longer. Let's just slice into it. Wow, look at that, this is mind blowing. All of those juices that are in there. We got a nice, beautiful smoke ring, a crust on the outside. Beautiful pink on the inside. This thing is cooked to perfection. Absolutely gorgeous rib roast. Wow, look at how good this looks. Absolutely beautiful. I love rib roast and dry aging them. Man, what a treat. We're going to quickly taste one just to make sure that it tastes as good as it looks. A little bit of salt on our cutting board, dip our steak into it, and then let it slide into your belly. Oh, that is some tasty beef. It's super juicy, it's tender. And you can taste that it's dry aged. The beef flavors have intensified, but it's not over dry. It's where it's getting a little bit of that sour flavor. You want some, Denise? Mm. This is tasty. Marcin, I would love to have your opinion on our home dry aged project. I like it. I wouldn't expect it to have that much dry aged flavor, but it's really there. On the outside, you get that intense smoke flavor. You can see it from the smoke ring, but the flavor is really there. And also, just underneath that surface, the beef flavors are the strongest. Inside of our rib roast, where we are nice and pink, that is where it's as juicy and as tender as can be. This is absolutely heaven. I hope you guys are gonna give it a try because it's just so good. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I want to say a special thank you to all of our patrons and YouTube members and the notification squad. Thank you guys for being there, helping us out, supporting us every step of the way. Hey, if you want to become a patron or a YouTube member, follow the links down below in the video description. If you want to find out more about the Cook Perfect, because that thing is awesome, then go down to the link. For the guys that I just promised the beautiful Cook Perfect thermometer to, hit me up on Discord, send me a private message, give me your address and your information, and we will make sure that Denise will ship to you. <laughs> Hope to see you guys soon. Until then, eat smakelijk. And keep on grilling. We sealed it up. Life at the barn is a little bit dangerous. Denise just stepped into one of my booby traps. We gotta take the foot off. No more rugby. Get the knife, get the big knife. <laughs> I think you're gonna be alright, Denise. <laughs>